guys, Jessica here, the Frey Family Coach, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about alternatives to spaying and neutering for your dog. Okay, so before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Jessica, I'm the Frey Family Coach. I am a positive reinforcement trainer and pet parent coach, and I do want to just insert this little disclaimer that I am not a veterinarian, However, I am referencing a very popular veterinarian in this video and I will link to the blog post in the description below from Dr. Karen Becker where she discusses about the differences in, there are, there are actually different procedures that can be done. There are alternate procedures to a traditional spay and a traditional neuter and why you should be discussing these options with your veterinarian. So the very first thing that she talks about in the blog is how desexing your pet, meaning removing the ovaries, removing the testes, depending on if it's a male or a female, which is traditionally how spays and neuters are performed. It's what veterinarians are taught in veterinary school, uh, veterinary school, why did I say that weird? Anyway, veterinary school, that's what they're taught is to remove the ovaries or remove the testes in a dog and that's how you perform a spay or neuter. Well, there's growing evidence that doing so, actually desexing the animal, can cause long-term health problems. And I'm gonna put it up on the screen here because she links to another blog where she discusses what those long-term health problems are, especially in larger and giant breed dogs you're going to see a mild increase in cranial cruciate ligament disease in both males and females of giant breed dogs, a mild increase of hip dysplasia. These are all in dogs that are desex. Mammary tumors um, actually decrease in dogs with a spay. There's a mild increase in both male and female dogs for lymphoma when they are desex. There's a mild increase of hemangiosarcoma a mild increase of osteosarcoma, a mild increase of transitional cell carcinoma. So these are all cancers and other diseases that we're seeing increases. And of course, this needs to be looked at further, but what we're seeing so far is that there's there are long-term problems that are popping their heads up when we actually desex an animal, meaning again, removing the ovaries and testes. And the reason is that the ovaries and the testes, they produce hormones, especially when we see really, really young dogs being spayed or neutered. These, uh, Oh, the ovaries and testes produce hormones, and a lot of these hormones are necessary for proper growth. So if you remove these hormone secreting organs, then the dogs are not getting the hormones that they need for their proper growth. So what is the alternative? Because, you know, in all reality, the very best thing we could do for our dogs is to leave them intact the way they were made. But because of the overpopulation problem and because so many pet parents just are not responsible enough to care for an animal who is completely intact and can have, can get pregnant, can have puppies, it's more responsible to have your pet not be able to reproduce because there is such an overpopulation problem and being that we can't care for their like there are too many animals in shelters we don't want that to happen right like that's that's very unfortunate it's sad we don't this isn't what we want for these animals so we have to do something right so what is the alternative so according to dr karen becker who again is the world's most followed veterinarian and i absolutely love her so if you haven't heard of her before definitely check out the link in the description and check out first this blog post that i'm talking about on this video but also check out I mean, she just has a wealth of information. She's an amazing holistic veterinarian and really just, I mean, someone to aspire to be like. She's, she's an incredible human being, incredibly compassionate, and really, really cares about the animals in our world. So according to Dr. Becker, she would prefer to desex without sterilizing, meaning leaving those organs intact, but still preventing the animal from actually being able to reproduce. So unfortunately, most veterinarians do not offer this alternative to spay and neuter because they just were not 
taught how to do it in veterinary school, but fortunately there has been a wealth of information and other veterinarians offering how to guides on how to perform these alternative spay and neuters without actually removing the organs. Now, I'm not going to get too much into detail, even though there is a little bit of detail on the blog about how you would actually go about performing these procedures. Um, I just don't, I mean, it's, I'm not a veterinarian, I'm not a medical professional, so I would say definitely talk to your veterinarian about it and if they don't know anything about it you can certainly link them to this blog that is down in the comments below the blog that you're going to read by clicking the link in the description. So reading further in Dr. Becker's blog post if you if your veterinarian does not know how to perform these alternatives to spay and neutering, your only option may be to do a traditional spay or neuter. Now I would say to check around with other veterinarians in your area and definitely check out the AHVMA. It's AHVMA.org. I will also link that in the description below. It's the American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association where you can find if there are any holistic and integrative veterinarians in your area who may actually be more apt to know how to do these alternate spays and neuters because um, we are seeing a growing body of evidence that leaving these organs intact is going to help your dog more than hurt them. So if we can do that, if we can spay and neuter without actually desexing, that's going to be the best thing. However, if you have no other option, if there aren't any holistic veterinarians in your area, if you cannot find a veterinarian who knows anything about performing these alternate uh, surgeries, it's still going to be the most responsible thing for you to do to have your dog spayed or neutered so that they are not contributing to adding more dogs into the world, especially if they're going to wind up in shelters. Like, we just don't want that to happen. So, what Dr. Becker says in her blog is that she would recommend waiting. It's specifically waiting until your dog has reached full musculoskeletal maturity, meaning all of the bones in their body have completely matured and their skeletal system is completely in place to where where it should be as a full-grown adult dog. Now, the larger the breed, the longer this can take. Some very, very large breed giant dogs can take up to two years. So you'll definitely wanna work with your veterinarian to figure out when this time frame is gonna be and wait until your dog has completely reached full musculoskeletal maturity. She also says if you have a female dog, she would wait until after she has completed her second cycle. So her second uterus cycle, which would mean her second heat cycle. Again, I have linked this blog post in the description below and in that blog post she has linked to numerous other resources. So if you are on the fence about what you should be doing, should you spay or neuter your dog, when should you do it, I definitely recommend you checking out not only her blog post but all of the material that she has linked to in her blog post to find out more information. Talk to your veterinarian about it. Don't just blindly schedule a spay or neuter because yes, it's the right thing to do, but let's be more responsible about doing this and making sure that it's the healthiest way possible for your dog. And make sure they reach full musculoskeletal maturity. And if you have a female dog, wait until they have had two heat cycles, um, which is gonna just help all of those hormones get through their body the way nature intended them to be. Of course, you can check out the AHVMA to find if there are any holistic veterinarians in your area so that you can also work with them and see if they know about spay and neuter without desexing. That really is probably gonna be the best way for you to go, if at all possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here in this video with me. I hope I provided you plenty of information and additional resources where you can find out just what you should be doing with your dog. I know that, you know, we want what's best for our dogs and sometimes it's hard to find appropriate resources and I'm hoping that I'm bringing you all of the best resources so you can make the most educated decision to do what is right for your dog. So 
If I have, I hope so, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you look right down there at that subscribe button and it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And before you go, don't go yet, don't go yet! Make sure you check all of the links in the description because I have such, such a wealth of links <laughs> in the description to my ebook, to my online dog training, to my Amazon storefront. Oh my goodness. I have personally handpicked and curated a list of my favorite items that are available on Amazon for your dog and some cat stuff in there too. So definitely check that out. Yeah, join the group. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Join the group, join the family. There are thousands of other pet parents in the group just waiting for you to join. You can share pictures of your dog or cat, share videos, ask questions, help other people by answering questions. There's just, I mean, it's an amazing group of pet parents. I absolutely love being part of it. And I can't wait for you to join. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I do hope I brought you some good information and uh, given you some really great resources. Um, again, linked in the description. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.